In this video, we're going to customize settings for the contact and department business classes that we created in a previous tutorial, introduce you to the application model, and show how to use it to set custom settings for the UI. So let's get started. As you can see in this diagram, the application model takes part in the automatic UI generation. For instance, when the framework creates a grid editor that displays a list of contact objects, information for each column's visibility, location, caption, and other settings are taken from the application model. The application model provides details on business classes, controllers, actions, property editors, and other elements that provide or influence application functionality. Data stored in the application model can be applied either to all UI platforms or any single one. Now I'm going to customize the application model in the common module so that changes are applied both to the Windows Forms and ASP.NET applications. To view the data contained in the application model, I'm using the so-called model editor. To invoke it, I double-click the XAF ML file in my Windows Forms project. In the model editor, all information is presented in a hierarchy of nodes and their properties. Here is the node that defines the department class. Let's assign an image that will represent department objects in all places in the UI that can show type messages. For this purpose, I'll select an image that is supplied with the Express App Framework. For the contact class, an image is already specified. It's inherited from the base person class. I'll change the object caption format property for the contact class so that it shows the department of the contact. Now let's group the contact list view by the department property. For this purpose, let's navigate to the contact list view. I'll set the is group panel visible property to true and specify a group index for the department column. Finally, I'll have a look at the default layer of editors on the contact detail form. I navigate to the appropriate node underneath views and select the Layout Child node. The layout is OK, but I'd rather have another property arrangement. OK, that's enough. I'm just trying to demonstrate how to specify UI settings. The changes are saved to my XAFML file. Look, here are the values I just set, saved in an XML format. Note that there is one XAFML file in each XAF solution project. To determine which is appropriate for your customizations, you need to be aware how information is loaded into the application model. When an XAF application is started, the application model is generated in several steps. First. The model loader scans the modules specified in the application designer's module section. In each module, it collects information from the classes in the module assemblies. For that reason, it's important that all relevant classes, business classes, controllers, and others are declared in modules so that they are loaded into the application model. Second, the changes from the XAF ML files are loaded. They override the values that were detected previously. This is done module by module. Your common module and all the modules required by it come first, then the customizations and the corresponding XAFML file, then the UI-specific module and all others it requires are handled in the same way. Finally, it's the application itself that can also require further modules and contain further customizations. The last file that is loaded is a user customization file with changes that were made by an end user during previous application runs. When you run the model editor for any of the projects in your solution, the application model is loaded in the same way with the exception of the user customizations. When you show the model for a particular module, the content is only loaded up to that level. That's why you can see different information in the model editor when invoking it for different modules. Now I'm going to run the Windows Forms application to check that the changes I made are applied when generating the UI. The image we assigned is shown by the department navigation item. The contact list view is grouped by the department property. The caption format and the layout are set correctly.
If I change the layout now at runtime or make any other customizations, these will be saved to the user customization file. So when I run the application, I'll find things as I left them. To view the changes I've made at runtime, I can invoke the model editor. The changes on the top customization level are displayed in bold. So in this case, the bold entries are only the changes I made at runtime. In summary, the application model is designed so that the UI can be customized by both the developer and an end user. In addition, an application administrator can also invoke the model editor to make changes in the application model. Let's look at the web part of your application and see if the changes we've made at design time are applied. To learn more about the application model, please refer to the XAF documentation. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.